Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to an episode of Great Locks. I'm Gunther the Great, and today we're gonna to be looking at Basquiat's dreadlocks. I love, I love, I love his dreadlocks. He has my favorite set of freeform locks. He's inspired me to start freeforming um, along with Bob Marley, you know, The Weeknd, Jaden Smith kind of freeform for a little bit. But I'm really inspired by freeform locks and Basquiat I feel like has a really unique set of freeform locks. Even with all these other people that have freeform locks, I don't think anybody who has freeform locks doesn't have unique ones. And I just love thick dreadlocks. I like when they're skinny too. I like when they're all different sizes. That's one thing that you see with Basquiat's hair. And if you guys don't know what freeform is, freeform is basically washing your hair. Some people don't even wash their hair, but that's called neglect. Freeform is typically just washing your hair and then allowing it to lock up on its own. That's why it's called freeform because you're allowing your hair to freely form on its own. No maintenance whatsoever, so you don't need locking gel, you don't need a crochet needle, you don't have to worry about twisting your hair all the time or maintaining it. You don't have to worry about frizz, you don't have to worry about all these other things that people usually have to worry about with their maintained dreadlocks. You know, separation and, you know, make sure you shower correctly or lay down correctly or wear the right beanie or have the right pillowcase. You don't have to worry about all these things. Now, I guess the pillowcase and, you know, what hats you wear and stuff like that kind of is important because you don't want lint inside of your hair because that will create buildup but you don't have to worry about products overall. So I would encourage all of you, if you want dreadlocks and say you like the way freeform dreadlocks look, if you have a hair type, you know, like in the threes or the fours, then I would definitely recommend you to start freeform dreadlocks and just allow your hair to freely form, especially if you like the way they look, because it's something that you will never experience fully until you do it yourself. Because you see all these other people who have really cool looking dreadlocks like Basquiat, when The weekend had his dreadlocks, when Bob Marley was here, you see all these people with really nice freeform locks. And it's just inspiring because everybody's hair is different and it forms differently. Speaking of different locks, Great Locks on Instagram is a community, it's a family of people with very different, you know, style of dreadlocks and different hair types that have dreadlocks, freeform locks, maintain locks, any kind of locks you can think of, they're all on the Great Locks Instagram page. And if you tag Great Locks, you can be featured on the page. Just make sure to tag us and you can look forward to being shared on the page or even the website. And also when it comes to me doing dread reviews of you guys, you guys will even be featured on the channel. So make sure to go check out Great Locks on Instagram. But without further ado, let's take a look at Jean-Michel Basquiat's hair type, which will tell us the method, which we already went over, it's free form. But his hair type is most likely a 4B, maybe even peeking into a 4C. Now looking at people's hair type really gives a hint towards how they started their dreadlocks. And by the looks of his hair, you can obviously tell because it's a sure sign that he started out with free form and allowed his hair to freely form the entire time. One thing you'll notice about Basquiat's dreadlocks is they started out pretty skinny. And over the course of time, they started to thicken up and congo up and he had wicks and he had really thick dreadlocks. And that's really what you're gonna get out of free form locks. They're gonna keep on getting thicker over time especially if you're not doing any separation whatsoever because your hair is bound to lock together, especially the tighter of a curl pattern your hair is. So now that we see that Basquiat just went strictly free form, the only thing we can do at this point, I can't really tell you much what he did besides wash his hair. So I wanna give you guys a product of the day, which I'll recommend the Dr. Bronner's Castile Pure Soap. This is really good soap that can be used for shampoo and I've used it myself. One thing that I know about this is it makes your hair really clean and very, let's say dry because your hair has to be clean and dry in order for it to lock up, especially if you want it to lock up a little quicker. So if you want your hair to lock up really quick, you would definitely want to use Dr. Bronner soap. A huge thing to really consider about this shampoo is that it's non-residue. So it washes out really well. So then you don't have to worry about buildup, especially with freeform locks, your hair is going to be really thick. And with thick dreadlocks, you really don't want anything to get trapped in there because that's gonna be a lot of buildup within your thick dreadlocks. Another thing I really like about the shampoo is it comes with a lot so you're probably gonna have this for I would even say half a year as long as you're using it correctly because you have to dilute it and what I mean by dilute because some people have asked me how do you dilute it all you do is you know mix it with water and it gives you all the instructions on the back so please read those instructions but I'm telling you this is the best shampoo for your dreadlocks but even just looking at the photos we've seen so far we can really appreciate his freeform locks because they're very distinct very unique and like I said at the beginning of this video I just really love how freeform dreadlocks look now how I mentioned the Dr. Bronner shampoo you can find that in the link down below which will take you straight to Amazon and you can just add it in your cart and you could purchase it just like that or you can go and browse greatlocks.com 
Vitamins.com, which has that soap on there as well, as well as all these other products that are perfect for your dreadlocks. And so many people use these and they have such great reviews. I don't think anything goes below four stars on greatlocks.com. And these are all reviews pulled from Amazon with thousands and thousands of users. So greatlocks.com not only has products, but it has video tutorials on how to use these products and also reviews on these products as well. And just kind of just videos for you guys to enjoy that are pulled from YouTube. And Jimmy Got Soul is actually featured on greatlocks.com. So you can go check out her videos down there as well. But you guys, that's all I have to really say about Basquiat. It's really cool to see his hair. It would be really interesting to see what his hair would look like today if he was still around. And I think that's always interesting to look back on, like saying like Bob Marley's hair, like it would be cool to see it now or even just see him in person would be really sweet. But you guys, that's today's video. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed it. Hopefully you enjoyed this week of videos. It was kind of just remembering the people that we've lost. Please guys, leave a comment down below what you guys want to see next. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.